Now, a British company has cut the price of medical cannabis, meaning it's now cheaper than illegal street cannabis. Despite the government allowing prescriptions, they're only given rarely on the NHS. That's because of the high cost. Guidelines uh, say they should only be offered when all other options have been exhausted. And the fact that some of the products don't have a licence. Private prescriptions can cost hundreds of pounds, meaning they're too expensive for most patients. But that's now set to change, as Chris Hemmings reports. I started using cannabis around about 2007. I was getting a lot of nausea from anxiety. I wasn't going out at all. I woke up one morning, I couldn't stop being sick. I was going into hospital a lot in order to have these panic attacks being treated. Um, and I came across cannabis, basically. Took a couple of puffs. And within minutes, the nausea that I'd been getting, it just completely vanished. Since December last year, Lee has been using medicinal cannabis oil to treat his anxiety. He originally went to the NHS, but was told it was unlikely he'd get a prescription. So he went private, which meant, like many others, he had to foot the bill. The first product um, I received from Canada, that cost £300. That would last about a month. It was just so expensive, really expensive. And at the time, I was on benefits... Um, I was on zero hours contracts and it was just a nightmare trying to afford it, basically. For most people, that meant black market cannabis was more affordable. But now a British company has produced a product that's cheaper than getting it from dealers. Now I'm using a product that costs £80 and it lasts for two months. But on the black market, I was paying up to £70 a week. So what's happened that means Lee and others can now get this in legal medicinal form cheaper than ever before. Until now, medical cannabis being distributed in the UK had come through various companies at different steps along the supply chain. At each step, cost was added. A British company, EMAC, is now the first in the UK at every stage of that process, removing those additional costs. Ed McDermott is their co-founder. So we've taken a vertically integrated approach to our business model, which means that we control cultivation, processing, manufacturing and distribution, essentially cutting out middlemen. Unfortunately, it's a private market still, so it's not publicly funded, which means that patients are self-paying. Ultimately, price is, is a significant part of that. By bringing that price down, by allowing a supply chain to work efficiently and, and, and create cost savings, we're able to pass that on. They grow the flower in Portugal and extract the THC in Spain, and then it's exported here to the northeast, where it's turned into medical cannabis oil. Dr Michael Platt is a consultant pain specialist for the NHS, but he also works for Sapphire Medical Clinic. They're the first medical cannabis clinic to be approved by the Care Quality Commission. There are many patients who have managed to start it, but then, they haven't, then they've had to give it up because they can't afford it, because it was too expensive. So although it's OK for uh, NHS use, a lot of uh, NHS um, bodies are, can't afford it, so they haven't been able to access it. And a lot of patients are in an awful lot of pain because of that. There's no doubt that in the last couple of months, the numbers of patients coming to us have increased quite dramatically. And I think it's the realisation that the price has come down so much that's made the difference. It's come right down from well over £1,000 a month, now down to about £120 to £150 a month, depending on the medication. And for patients like Lee? If I could sum it up in two words, really, it would be freedom and safety. Um, the freedom to be able to move on with my life, not have to worry about the police and uh, the safety of buying it off doctors and using something that's to a pharmaceutical standard. It's massively life-changing. It really is. Chris Hemmings, BBC News. Now, Laura Drummond uh, lives in Hampshire. She has a, a two-year-old daughter and previously worked as a midwife and nurse. She has a cannabis oil prescription for her fibromyalgia and uh, joins us now. Uh, Laura, thank you so much for talking to us today. Um, tell us uh, a bit more about your condition, what the impact of that is, and, and, and how long you've been using medical cannabis to treat it. OK, so I um, got diagnosed with fibromyalgia in November 2015. Um, this was after an injury um, while I was working as a midwife um, about a year and a half previously. And it, basically the, the condition has completely changed my life. Um, I no longer work um, every day. Everything is a complete struggle. Trying to get out of bed in the morning feels like you're wading through treacle. Um, the pain element is one that you 
also get more exhausted from. Um, it's it's relentless. It's constant. Um, and this is why I've um, sort of looked for alternative treatments, really. Mm. And and what uh, difference would you say the medical cannabis has made then to the pain and, and, and other aspects of the condition? It, it's it's it was slow to start, but um, since I started it in May 20 this, this year, in May of this year, um, I've seen quite a dramatic um effect the the pain levels are in in the low numbers um whereas i was living with pain of about seven or eight out of ten every day now it's probably three or four out of ten which is it's just more manageable makes your life a little bit easier um had you tried had you tried lots of other treatments though for this before you moved to medical cannabis Absolutely. So I've tried um, hyperbaric oxygen therapy. I've tried acupuncture. I've tried all all different supplements. Um, I think as a relatively young woman um, having this condition, you you kind of go into denial that this is actually happening to you, and you you're constantly looking for something that's going to sort of be that magic bullet mm. that's going to, you know, make everything go back to the way it was. So um, uh, have you got this medical cannabis on prescription then or you, are you having to pay for it yourself? No. So I, um, I've i accessed this through Sapphire Medical Clinics. Um, a friend of mine who also has fibromyalgia had started using it probably a year or so before um, I found out about it. She told me about it and um, I had some consultations um, during lockdown over Zoom calls and I decided to give it a try. Um, obviously, the massive barrier at that point was the, the cost of it. They it, Basically, about 10 days worth of um, medical cannabis, which is what I was needing, you know, um, dosage wise um 10 mils would last me 10 days and that was costing me 125 pounds so 125 pounds every 10 days it it you know it's an awful lot of money mm -hmm. and trying to budget that um it's made such a difference that my husband and i decided you know we'll do whatever we need to do in order to pay for this because it was making such an, a good effect on on my life and therefore the life of my family and the life of my daughter. So yeah. so, um, so, so now that, that the this British company, as we heard, has cut the price of medical cannabis, um, will that benefit you in terms of the cost, the amount of money that you have to pay for to absolutely. use? Absolutely. OK. So I've gone from nearly £500 a month down to about just over £80 a month. You, you uh, obviously have a medical background. I mean, does yeah. anyone ever query uh, that? possible risks, possible side effects and, and, and uh, you know, that side of things? Um, the main thing that um, people sort of ask me about is whether you have to smoke it. <laughs> um, and it's I, I sort of explain that, no, it's like any other drug. It's just um, it has less side effects than the traditional pain medication that um, I, I'm also taking at the same time. It seems to make my regular painkillers work better. Um, Laura, Laura taking... we're just about to... We're, I'm really sorry to, to interrupt you. I think, uh, you yeah. know, we're just about to be out of time. But thank you so much for no talking problem. to us and telling us your story. Laura Drummond there in Hampshire. Uh, and uh, it is time now for a look 